Welcome back to State of Decay 2 and the Salt of the Earth. Uh, I'm playing with some of my old communities right now because I just finished up the legacy for the assembly and I am mentally tired. It's also been a really stressful work week and uh, so I just, I didn't want to go through the... <laughs> the problems inherent in trying to start a brand new nightmare community from scratch. So I'm putting that off until next week. And today we're just going to chill with some of my favorite old communities. So we're playing Link the Bee Man right here with the salt of the earth. And uh, La Coalition in the chat has suggested that I run an experiment. Uh, so he's just discovered that we might have a bug. No, you didn't see the bug that just happened there. Um, we might have a bug with our zombate. Oh wait, I don't have any zombate. That's right, I need to manufacture some. So zombate is one of the um, plague sample fueled uh, items that you can get with this, this mod right here. This is the uh, advanced biochem station. You can craft these plague consumables, uh, including zombate. Uh, they cost plague samples and chemicals, which I've got plenty of in this community. So I'm gonna make myself some zombate. In fact, I'm gonna make myself two piles of zombate. And so what he, uh, what Coalition uh, has reported to me is that if you throw Zombait at a uh, Plague Heart, which is a thing that most people wouldn't think of doing, because you, you throw Zombait... The, oh, he's got some bouncy Boruses too, with, which Coalition also loves for me to try. Um, if you throw, when you're throwing Zombait, you're usually throwing it at, like, um, hostile humans to get zombies to attack them. It's something that it spawns and attacks uh, with a bunch of zombies uh, wherever you throw the zombate. Um, and so normally people just wouldn't try to throw that at a plague heart because why would you? Uh, in fact, we probably never tested it against a plague heart because why would you? But apparently it has a uh, sort of an unpredictable effect on the plague heart that we're going to try out. Uh, okay, so should I get into the... I, I, I kind of want to ride the wizard van. Oh, I don't have a lot of gas in the wizard van. H how are we doing for gas with my uh, Vandito? Vandito's doing great. Nope. Get get in the car. Get in the car, Link. Come on. Okay, so I've only got a couple plague carts left on this map, but that's probably all I need. Before I head over to this plague cart, though, let's stop by the Bounty Broker, because this is actually the first time I played the game in the month of May, uh, which means we've got new bounties to go after. And if any of those bounties have anything to do with killing plague hearts, I definitely want to queue them up before I go and get into some trouble. Um, I'm pretty sure, I can check this in a second, I'm pretty sure that the salt of the earth is in the dread zone. Not in the nightmare zone. So I've been playing in nightmare for a while, uh, which is a scary place for me to play. I'm not good enough at my own game uh, to play higher than nightmare right now. But... Uh, but yeah, I think that I've actually just backed up to Dread, so this should be a cakewalk. Our famous last words for anyone playing State of Decay 2. Okay, so Coalition, by the way, wants uh, to underscore that while he reported this zombie issue to me, uh, he didn't actually discover it. It was actually somebody in the Portuguese community. So yeah, let's let's make sure uh, that we're shouting out Junior Play, who was apparently the the, the guy who, in the in the Portuguese community who discovered it. Thank you for pointing that out, La Coalition, because I do, I do like, when people find stuff like, what the crap? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Yes! Okay, oh, what? Dang it, I thought I was going to drive right through those bushes, but they were on a rock. Um, yeah, I, I, credit where credit is due, right? I, I, I appreciate that, Coalition, that you are not trying to take credit for somebody else's work. So let's hop over here. I actually just realized I've got no idea if my guns are suppressed or what. Okay, so I do have a suppressor on my honcho. Obviously don't have one on my uh, revolver. So let's talk to Cash. So this is the anniversary pack, uh, which is not a coincidence that this comes out uh, in May because our game was released in May four years ago. And actually we're getting very close to State of Decay 2's fourth birthday. Uh, which, so it, on the official State of Decay stream, we're going to be celebrating that even more. Uh, but yeah, I, I can't believe this game has been out for four years. We only spent like four and a half years making it. So pretty soon, we'll have spent more years supporting it post-release than we spent building it in the first place, which is just hilarious to me. So, okay, killing an armored Zed with a pistol, bloater with explosives, 
bladed weapons, which I don't have right now. Freaks with vehicles. Screamers with heavy weapons. I do have a I do have a heavy weapon. That might be worth grabbing. Uh, recruit an enclave. That'll be better for when I start a new community. That'll be better for them. Ah, plague hearts with assault weapons. Okay, that's an interesting question. If I use the exploit that the coalition is talking about, will I get credit for killing a plague heart with an assault weapon? Or I will. Or will the uh, will the plague heart consider itself to have been killed by the zombate? Because coalition is telling me that actually the zombate by itself is not going to kill the plague heart. Uh, it's you throw the, the zombate at the plague heart, and that does something that makes your next thing you do do more damage. And so I might get credit for that. Um, plague zombies with fire. Actually, yeah, I can I can do that. And I think we're covered. So. Yeah, okay, that's a good set of bounties to start with. <laughs> so, Draven says, uh, the amount of support this game has gotten is insane. Yeah, it's it's kind of, uh, it feels insane to me, too. I mean, I've been in the game industry for nearly 20 years now, and I've never been on a team that got to support their game after release the way that uh, that, that State of Decay 2 has gotten to. It's, it's really been incredible. I just barely left the State of Decay 2 team, uh, so I'm not there anymore, but I, I spent how much of my life... I spent like eight years of my life working on State of Decay 2, both pre and post release, which is just an insane amount of time. Most, and, and, and the fun thing is like, I still love playing this game. Like even though I've, this game has occupied an entire small child's life uh, <laughs> for me, I still, I still love it. Like how, that, that's a really pretty rare thing actually for a game developer to get to work on a game that they like so much that they never get tired of it. Oh, hey there, uh, blue, Blueberry Muffins. Glad to have you in the chat. And thank you for saying nice things. Alright, so here is a Plague Heart. We've got some... Got some Plague Zob... I only need to kill four with fire? We're just giving these ones away. Man, we've got some pretty radically different standards for some of these different... Uh, uh, bounty packs. Like I could, I could seriously just kill one of these bounties right now. Let's just get some of these zombies gathered up in a little pile. Come here, zombies. Let's just gather you up in a nice pile. Okay. I need tightly. Let's let, let's let's do this. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Boom. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, cool. Now, let's not forget what we're here to do, which is what I often do when I'm trying to do things that Coalition suggests. Is I'll, I'll say, oh yeah, I'll totally do that, and then I forget to do it. So, we're going to throw... What am I doing? Okay, I don't want to use my revolver. We're going to throw Zombait at this Plague Heart. And then we're going to hit it with an assault weapon. So here you go. So I only hit it a couple of times. And it just completely self-destructs. Wow. That is just incredible, Coalition. I can't believe that's real. That's, I mean, yeah, I mean, okay, well, here's the problem. The zombate still works. <laughs> I just heard a zombie make a noise. I don't know what kind of zombie it was, but I decided to get out of there. Oh, gosh. What? Yeah, so so that's the downside. Is that, uh, sure, I killed the plague heart, but because of the zombie, we still get more zombies. So, so because I don't play on the lethal zone, killing a plague heart kills all the nearby zombies and usually gives me sort of a moment of peace. But now, because the zombie, oh, uh, because the zombie's in there, it's a little different. So, all right, cool. Oh, good. I didn't realize this character had uh, gunslinging. All right. Well, let's get out of here, and let's go try this again. Let's try this one more time, and this time I'm only gonna fire once. Oh, oh, check out my bounty. I didn't even check that. My oh, by the way, uh, I've got my um. Is it community that I've set to green? Here's my difficulty settings right now. Yeah, so 
community and map are both green, and combat is dread. Because uh, this is just my community where I just collect as many resources as I can. And actually, I'm really excited about the upcoming Forever Communities update because that because we're adding the ability to push characters into the legacy pool and pull them out, which means I can finally use this community for its intended purposes. Because originally I was like, oh yeah, I will, oh, hey, there's a screamer. I was like, I'll, I'll create this community where I'll, I'll collect a whole bunch of resources and it'll be great and I'll be able to share them with people, you know, that I play with in co-op. And then I realized, wait a minute, I'm an anti-social jerk. I never play with anyone in co-op. And so this community felt like it was kind of useless. Uh, but now, now that we're doing forever communities, now that we're doing forever communities, I don't need to have friends and I don't need to be nice. I can send stuff that the salt of the earth collects to other communities via the legacy pool. So uh, that's great. I'm really looking forward to that. Okay, so we got to head over there to get that last plague heart. So yeah, so it's cool that, so apparently, so the Coalition was suggesting earlier, and I think he was right about this, that the Zombate is not damaging the Plague Heart. The Zombate is just for some reason creating a damage multiplier on the Plague Heart or something like that. It's causing whatever damage I do to be repeated, I guess, uh, or magnified or something. Um, I'm not sure if the damage is like, happening again and again and again, and that's just killing it, or if it's just doing all of its damage at once, which means it has to, it just very rapidly steps through the process of going down in, uh, to different tiers of health and then exploding. I'm genuinely not sure which of those it is, or if it's some third thing I haven't thought of. Um, but you can tell that it's not, it wasn't killed by the zombie, because then I wouldn't have gotten credit for my bounty. Uh, my bounty would would still say zero of two plague hearts killed with assault weapons. So clearly the damage is coming from the assault rifle. But wait, how far? This is probably not a good way to go. But whatever. This is where this is where we are now. Oh no! Get get up! Get up! Yep. This is this is what I'm doing. Apparently. Well, at least it's not nightmare. Oh my gosh. Why do I do this? Oh, get off. Okay, hold on. I guess we're using the stuck command. <sighs> Come on, get me out of here. There we go. Anyway, what was I doing? Let's go somewhere else. It occurs to me that I didn't bother to loot that plague heart. Um, I probably should have. This is just the worst way to go. This is the worst way. Why, why, why did I not look at my map? Why did I just start driving towards the destination? This doesn't make any sense. Okay, here we go, okay. We're home free now, it's great. Let's just pretend that whole sorry episode didn't happen. Oh, we got a really bitter person talking to us over the radio. Well, am I already almost out of gas? This is not the most efficient vehicle in the world. Who would have thought that a massive armored minivan would, wouldn't have the best, world's best gas mileage? All right. Here we go. We're gonna try this again. And this time I'm only shooting it once. I'm just gonna hit it with one bullet. Boom. Yeah, okay, it looks like it is just, it's repeat. No, no, don't, don't get over there. Oh, you got a freaking feral. Go, 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 go. No, get off. I see that bloater. I see you, bloater. There we go. Sheesh. All right, all right. Everybody's after me now. Gee, why why are all these zombies after me? <laughs> Could it be that I threw a bunch of zombate? <laughs> okay, so 
This is a bug. I don't know if I would call this an exploit, though. <laughs> because I seem like... It feels like I'm creating more problems for myself than I'm solving. Like, I feel like... Oh, an exploit... Like, an exploit needs to be good for the player for it to be an exploit. And I don't know if this is actually good for the player. I, I mean, I guess in, in Lethal Zone, this might not be that different. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Freaking Plague Heart is still there. Now, there's a couple of possible explanations for that. It could be that the zombie trick did not actually take it off. I, I wasn't watching closely. It could be that the zombie trick did not actually take it down. That's that's one possibility, that it took it part way down, but it didn't die. Another possibility is this is like that classic bug with the um, with the doubled up plague heart, where I did kill a plague heart, but it had another plague heart underneath it, which also is a thing that sometimes happens. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Coalition is reminding me that of course, what I really want to do is damage it with my assault rifle. There we go. Thank you, because yeah, that was a. That was the last play card on this map, I'm pretty sure. Oh, hey, there's a Screamer. That was the last play card on this map. And so if I had failed to kill, to, to get credit for the bounty on this one, I would have to go to an entirely new map to do it. But, okay, yeah, so I'm gonna have to look at that, look at the video again and decide why I think that particular thing didn't work. Cause it could be, cause it looked like, once I started looking more closely at it, it did look like that it wasn't just magnifying the damage and stepping through the process of um, of killing the heart. You know what? Let's just get out of here. Um, it looked like it actually was repeating, repeating the hit. So glad it's not the Nightmare Zone and I can just knock zombies off my car and have them not already have destroyed it. Um, so yeah, it looked like it was repeating the hit, which means that it probably just didn't do enough damage because I only, please get control of your vehicle. Uh, because I had only hit it once instead of hitting it a few times, it was only replicating the damage, replicating the hit, uh, replicating a single hit, which I guess did not do enough damage on its own to wipe out the heart. That's what I'm betting probably happened. Okay. So now our, uh, Oh, shush, Destiny Chasers. Go, you know, if you love Destiny so much, why did you play Destiny instead of State of Decay 2? Um, okay, so... Oh, again, I forgot to... <laughs> I forgot to loot the Plague Heart. We could just do an entire episode of me going looting all the Plague Hearts I forgot to loot. So let's... Here, that's my closest spot. So let's go and gas up this vehicle. But then I think, really, like... Oh, hey, hey since I've got an empty trunk. Let's go grab some stuff at this army site. But yeah, I think that I should probably wrap up this episode. Like, I like the idea of this just being a very focused episode about this one weird exploit. And we don't need to say a lot more. Oh, wow. Okay, so we've got... Actually, I do not have a lot of inventory space, come to think of it. Let's uh, drop some stuff off in here. Oh, look, we've got gas. Great. Great, 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 great. Let's drop this off and this. And... We'll, we'll do something with the Boruses later. Uh, that's good. Sure. Let's reload, too, which I think, yes, that gives me no more bullets in my pockets. So I should have room to pick up more stuff. Oh, interesting. So Renathcord says that the same thing happens with bloater gas on lethal. That apparently you can just hit, you can hit a plague heart with, so you can hit a plague heart with bloater gas, and the bloater gas itself doesn't hurt the plague heart, but it multiplies damage that you do. Is that is that what you're saying? So it looks like I'm not even gonna be able to pick up everything in here. Okay, well that stacks at least, and that stacks. That's good. Yay, ammo bucket. Oh, wait. 
And then what was in here? Does that? Yes, it stacks. Oh, it's all I can carry. Let's see if we can dump anything else off in here. Do I have anything that stacks with stuff I've already got in there? I guess maybe not. Um, oh, actually, you know what I should do? I should use that so I can get some gas out of here and gas this sucker up. Squishy Soft is suggesting that maybe if, if the Zombait spawned a bloater, then it might be possible that if, and if bloater gas damages the heart, maybe I'm spawning a bloater and hurting the bloater and that's killing the heart. I don't think that's the case. Oh, there's a wandering trader. I should deal with them in a bit. I don't think that that's the case because, why do I not think that's the case? Because I was seeing the hits repeating. That's, that's the thing that makes me think we've already interpreted it right, is that when I fired my AK into the plague heart, it, um, it had a, a hit effect and then I kept seeing that hit effect again and again and again. That that's what makes me think that it's repeated damage that, that we're seeing here. But I don't know. I there's all kinds of explanations that could be true. It does seem it does seem like it would be less reliable too, a, le, a less reliable effect if it was contingent on you also hitting a a, a plague bloater. Okay, so let's just drop a bunch of stuff that I don't need in here. That too. Why not for now? Yeah, so we'll grab this and that and that. I think we've the zombie. We've done enough damage with the zombie. We don't need any more of that. But can drop off all of this stuff. And then I mean, oh yeah, I guess I've never. I never actually looted this place. I claimed it as an outpost, but I never actually looted it. So let's get that done. Oh, meds. Okay, we'll come back for that. Okay, we'll drop this stuff. That, and that, and that, and that, and that, and that. And let's take our rucksack back out to the van. Drop it in so I can come back here. Grab that meds rucksack. Oh, interesting. So, Coalition asks if could could a bug like this have been caused by someone basically like copying and pasting something that does a lot of damage to plague hearts, uh, like for instance the bloater gas grenades or, or no, what, is that what they were called in Heartland? The 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 special uh, uh, the special stuff that you make from the bloaters in Heartland. If that could have been like duplicated to have that effect, well, they, that one doesn't have that effect though. The effect of having a repeating hit like that, uh, that Heartland uh, throwable doesn't do that. And so I don't, I don't think that is the kind of mistake that people can totally make. That's you're not crazy for suggesting that, but I think that what what we're witnessing seems to suggest that that's not what's going on. All right, so. We've got our van all loaded up. I should actually grab some, uh, like, heels and stuff for myself. Because I dropped those off to just make more room in my inventory. But I should probably grab a few. What do heels look like? Like this. Um, all right. Well, yeah. So if I, if I hang out here too much more without ending the episode, this is going to be a really unfocused episode. That's not going to be cool. So let's... Uh, Let's wrap this one up, but we're going to, you know, if you're watching this live on Twitch right now, we're going to keep going. Uh, I'm just going to wrap up an episode for, for the YouTube people. So, uh, hey, YouTube people, you should subscribe to my channel because I've got other fine videos like these ones, uh, including this one, which is the one I'm about to make right now.